I'll light some incense and hopefully YouTube will give us some notifications. You know, I'm new YouTube love. Hey, don't be a hater, YouTube. Oh, my, my, my. You know. I need to put this here to remind me to spray, <laughs> literally spray paint. <laughs> literally, I'm going to spray paint, dearie, Don't be nervous, Dave. Don't be nervous, Mary. Yeah. Now we're cooking with grease. All right. Let's see who's here. Well, hello, beauties. Hey, Sylvians. Hey, my two cents. Hey, S. Douglas. Hello, lovelies. Woo. Hello, beautiful humans. Oh, I love you so much. I feel like I ain't seen y'all in a month of Sundays, for real. All right. Uh, let me find the charcoal, honey. Let me get the charcoal going and some frankincense. I just added in my hand. I did. I picked it right up. You know what that means. Picked it up, put it somewhere. Ba 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 ba. Where was I? Where was I with the charcoal in my hand? Eh, 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 eh. What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, pardon. It's stupid. Um. Hmm. Um. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hey. 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 Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the chat. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Hey, Miss New. Thank you, S. Douglas. I'm so nervous. I'm, I'm nervous because I'm excited to talk about this subject, but also like, whew, um, it's been a long time coming. I won't keep you long, but I want to take this opportunity. Uh, this is a good day for me to come out with this. Um, I'm just linking my energy uh, cosmically to the rest of my cosmic family who's out here working for the same purpose, um, which is to keep us in a place of wholeness as we uh, feel this these transition changes. This earth is a change and she's a change and um, whether you are in tune to it or not. So um, let's talk about, are you want, first of all, even aware of the Vatican, the Pope saying, um, denouncing the doctrine of discovery. Have y'all heard, um, uh, 
and hold on. all right do you even know what that is and why that's a big deal and why that's such a big important thing and why this live is uh, titled the way that it is uh, who are the Sibyls what is the fall of the uh, Roman Catholic Empire why that sounds so strange doesn't it well, it isn't that strange if you know um, the difference between history and the records of the real past, and also who and what you are as a human on the planet. Now, I, I know because I could trace my mother's um, seven generations up or so. I know who my people are, and I am very clear that uh, my particular lineage did not come from a boat um, on a continent far away. I am clear that the Americas, all of them, <laughs> uh, were all called the same thing, and that I'm from the whole planet. Uh, and nobody captured me, put me in a ship. I mean, I'm not going to say if that's your belief, that's fine. I'm not here to challenge anyone's beliefs, but I am here to explain the records of the real past and why that's important on my channel and for whom I believe my wonderful subscribers and supporters are because... Um, I think over 95% are women, um, 90 plus percent are indigenous or brown women. And that means you're me and I am you. And I have been on the hunt, baby, on the search, uh, the hunt for red October, <laughs> the uh, for real, you know what that means. Um, but I've been on the hunt for the divine, so to speak, the truth though, the real shit, <laughs> all my incarnation, this whole, this whole trip is what I've been doing. So I believe, I don't believe it, I know it, that there are women in particular, uh, brown women. Hey, Miss Blackberry, sweet pea, who uh, have questions as this world begins to change and as new revelations begin to happen. And what you're getting from me is a little foretaste of what you will begin to hear more of in the mainstream if you have not heard it already. I've linked some resources in the description. Um, I hope that I was good at doing that. I, I, I hope that I was. Um, I don't claim to be great at some things, okay? But um, I linked Dane Calloway's YouTube channel. It has all that you need to, if you are from Amexa, if you're from the United States and you are you, your mama and daddy and your grandmama and daddy and then your great grandmama and daddy and you can go back at least three, four, then you have been reclassified uh, from Indian to colored in 1924 by an act of Congress. So these folks who are uh, indigenous claiming uh, in the Americas, uh, a great many of them are uh, second, sometimes third generation, sometimes just people brought in from another place and given that status to usurp the original humans on the planet, on the planet in this realm, uh, in the Americas, and told that they were from somewhere else, so that their inheritance to the land could be stolen. And I don't need to regale you with uh, what my thoughts on it are. 
in terms of whether or not I think it's true. There is so much scholarship now to support the truth of that. What we uh, are under and have been under is a great deal of something called mind control, um, also just a series of being conquered, you know, to the spoils, uh, to the victor goes the spoils and they get the right to do something called reconstruction, which is what the Americas, the United States, which is not that, it was a republic, it is, it, it, it is supposed to be, um, but it was invaded. So we are astrologically in a different place in the world where things that were hidden from us are no longer hidden. So like I said, if you are on my channel and you've been here for some time, you already know what it is. You should not be shocked or at all that we're going to be having this conversation. Hey, Genitive Onyx, thank you so much. Um, I have been at this for quite a while. So what I want to first show you is some works to just put in perspective so you can understand what it means when the Vatican, the, the now sitting Pope, who says that he is the intermediary between God and the earth for billions of humans on the planet, whether you believe in that or not, that, that, little, that little fella is running around with a lot of power, all right? What that means, where he got that power from, <laughs> where the whole thing started, um, and how the how the great fell, how how people got usurped. Okay, we'll just put it like that. How people got usurped on the planet. Okay, um, which is you know it's always easy if 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 folks are fighting, you can just get on in there and, and wedge them apart. But I digress. Okay. The system of white supremacy, let's call it that, meaning structuralized, institutionalized um, as a war tactic, separating bodies by color. Um, and in particular, uh, the upside downness of uh, psychological warfare, degradating a group of humans uh, to bring them to a subhuman level uh, so that they would destroy themselves while also implanting um, another program and another group of people so that they will thrive, which is great, but also assist even on a subconscious level in the destruction of these other people because they deem these people as less and not worthy of life, liberty. And the ability to maintain sovereign um, ownership of them, their selves, their lands, their traditions, um, or what have you. So here we are. It's 2023. And uh, shout out to Blue Pill uh, and Red Pill. <laughs> really, Brother Blue Pill, though. Pope Pablo. Pope Pablo been on that ass. He been on. He's been on the Pope's ass. He's been on the Vatican ass. But what I want to say is, this is just a continuation of this empire was had to 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 to, to be overthrown and, and has to crumble because it was prophesied so long ago, and it's just been so fucking evil on the planet for a long time. Just evil, evil. But this is a prophecy. I'm about to read it. See it? Nope. There you go. Um, I can put it on the screen. Let's hope I can put it on the screen. <laughs> um, but it's so small, I literally have to use my little thing. So this says, thrice 300 years having run their course of fulfillment. Rome, by the strife, 
her people shall perish. Rome is doomed to perish. And that indeed by the judgment of God, because it held her name in hatred and being the enemy of righteousness, it destroyed the people who kept the truth. There shall come to thee sometime from above a heavenly stroke deserved, O haughty Rome, and thou shalt be the first to bend thy neck and be rise to the ground, and thee shall fire destructive utterly consume, cast down upon thy pavements, and thy wealth shall perish, and wolves and foxes dwell in thy foundations. And then shalt thou be wholly desolate as if not born. Now, that is a prophecy, a final prophecy for Rome. And you can find that in this wonderful work here, Mami Wata by Mami Zogbe, Africa's ancient God S. Unveiled, reclaiming the ancient Mami Wata Vondun history and heritage of the diaspora. What does all that mean? An empire or a group of folks got together and usurped another group of folks. Um, these brotherhoods, these fraternities, these fraternal orders, secret orders, these temples got together and came against their mother temples. And a lot of women on the planet have no clue um, that the real power on the planet first began with you, especially if you look like me or darker. And for Rome to be finally acknowledging that if nothing else, if nothing else, <laughs> they renounce the doctrine of discovery. These are these are not uh, a lot of these have been uh, what we call whitewash, but these are brown women. It was known all throughout the known world. We're going to listen to a little bit of an interview by uh, Mama Zogbe. Shout out to Shah Bless and the other sister who conducted that many, many years ago, I think 12 years ago. It's on my community feed. I've, I've posted it ever since I found it. I was just listening to it right now. It goes so fast. It's almost hard to believe that a Black woman uh, academic came into the world to bring such rich scholarship. And this is just volume one, OK? I have volume two as well. I don't think I have it here in Mexico. I don't believe that I do. But I want to talk a little bit about what in the world, one, what is the doctrine of discovery? Why does Rome need to fall? What are they guilty of? Because there are some coming judgments, um, some coming cosmic cleanups here by the great mother. And it all will be we just need to make sure we're clear and that we are vi uh, vibrating and on the highest frequency we can get on because that which we frequent, we are on the frequency of. And what's up, Cocoa Butter Barbie TV? What a name. I love it. <laughs> if we, uh, let me take me for example, when I was um, focused primarily on my survival or not even on my survival, but really, yes, my survival, whether, whether it was working too many hours to make a certain amount of money because I had to pay these bills because I wanted to live in a particular house and drive particular cars, but I wasn't really working in my purpose at all. And because of that, I was uh, not able to eat well and not able to rest well. And um, so I wasn't able to take complete care of my body. As you all know, I'm now about 100 pounds lighter than I was at my height 
when you all have seen me over the years. And over the years, you all have seen me try every sort of little thing, right? Whether it was uh, uh, keto, uh, vegan, uh, juicing, uh, some mixture thereof, um, you know what it has been for me. Um, you know how I used to love to uh, unwind with one or four or five Michelob Ultras and one or two or four Maker's Marks, okay? Or maybe one or three vodkas or whatever it was at the time that I was drinking. Um, there's no judgment for me or anyone else who does that. I'm just saying for me, when I was on the, pet, the treadmill and I had really given up, I just, I had already bounced my head around Christianity, which I knew I was like, all right, okay, okay. I know about the Christos. I got the Christ, Christ energy. Yes, I've had my experience. I get how they bastardize it and call it the God. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Um, I tried Islam. I mean, you know, whatever it is, Miss D has tried it, okay, in search of myself on the planet. The reason I would leave these religions most times is because I run into the wall of patriarchy in one level or another, and not patriarchy in like from a feminist standpoint, because that is not where I'm coming from at all. But there was always a power structure uh, upside downness that I eventually saw, and I would just be like, well, this doesn't make any sense. Uh, where the men, shout out to the men, um, are in charge everywhere all the time, everywhere all the time um, when it comes into the most significant levels of decision making in the spiritual world. And hey, Sean, Sandra's my love. And that's fine. However, it led to an imbalance. Also, I'm a regular human. Um, and I would see these humans being super de duper duper human and super hypocrisy filled with whatever it was, um, whether it was them being dogmatic or rigid about their levels of control when it came to their linear way of doing things. And they were able to go about, but they had very strict and stringent rules on how the women in their lives may behave down to the way the women are able to even dress or be. Um, and then also the availability and even the um, acceptance of physical control by men over the, over the women in their lives, whether it's their wives or their daughters, whether it's brothers and the sisters. Even today, right now, you all know that there's many cultures where men to the, this day feel very, 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 very um, sense of ownership over the bodies of the women around them, whether they say they are to, uh, they're just protecting them, they want to tell the women what to do, how to do it, and so on and so forth. So I didn't cotton too well to that because I'm like, well, there's a whole lot of reasons. We won't get into them right now. All right. So let's talk about this Rome thing, okay? Um, I'm going to play, first we're going to show you what the doctrine of discovery is. What is the hell? Why would Rome, who is Rome? What is the Roman Empire? Why do they need to fall? <laughs> right? Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Boom. I'm going to see if I can come back in here. Um, oh, I want to laugh for just a minute. Um, shout out to me. And um, I, I didn't, I, I no longer have StreamYard Premium. So I think that I can do pretty much everything I used to do, right? Does it stop after a certain time? I mean, I'm not going to be on here long, but anyway, I can still screen share, right? Because I was never good at that anyway. Um, I think I can. Can I? But what if I can't? Um, but it's okay. I ain't going to trip if I can't, child. You trust, believe, Mary. It don't bother me. All right. So let me go here and read, what is it? Vatican City, the Vatican on Thursday responded to indigenous demands 
and formally repudiated the doctrine of discovery. The theories backed by 15th century papal bulls that legitimized the colonial era seizure of native lands and formed the basis of some property laws today. So, and then his ass went right into the hospital. <laughs> All right. Uh, a legal concept coined in an 1823 U.S. Supreme Court. That's what the D doctrine of discovery decision that has come to be understood is meaning that ownership and sovereignty over land passed to Europeans because they discovered it. <laughs> and it gives them rights to you basically just enslave the native peoples, of course, of which we are that. So, um, but what is it? Let's see. Let's go here. Let's go here. Mm -hmm. All right. Boom. Here we go. All right, I'm going to read this. Doctrine of Discovery, 1452, gives them the right to invade, search out, capture, vanquish, and subdue all Saracens and pagans whatsoever, and other enemies of Christ wheresoever placed, and the kingdoms, dukedoms, principalities, dominions, possessions, and all movable and immovable goods whatsoever held and possessed by them and to reduce their persons to perpetual slavery and to apply and appropriate to himself and his successors, the kingdoms, dukedoms, counties, principalities, dominions, possessions, and goods, and to convert them to his and their use and profit by Pope Nicholas V, Pope Papal Bull of 1452. So basically, it is the basis of what uh, is commonly referred to as worldwide white supremacist doctrine. It is based on a papal bull that says these Europeans have the right to subdue, steal, ravage, rape, kill, and they do that. And there's three legs of it. So there's the Roman Catholic Empire and uh, uh, you got the London, which is the, those people, the monarchy, which is nonsense. And then you got Washington, D.C., which everybody should already know that. If you are not familiar with that triad of what it is, you need to get caught up, honey. So let's talk about these good old folks, though, at the Vatican, honey, and uh, what they have been up to over the years. Uh, so when we hear of things called the Crusades and stuff like that, and we want to know what is happening we have been taught that they are not talking about us at all, but they are. They are talking about us. It's a whole war. It's a war of human bodies on the planet fighting over whatever the hell the human bodies be fighting over, child. Uh, but in order to be warring and stuff, the most important thing you need is something called sacerdotal power. Who's in, who, who has the right to uh, or who, who is connected to the divine? How is the planet should be run? Because uh, we watch nature. Nature tells us how it should be run. Um, and we know truly by the records of the past that this realm, this school, this university, it was something and then it got usurped. Uh, and lots 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 of ancient books tell you that. And in the resource in my description, I put the code to the matrix by Seven Bomar. Shout out to Seven Bomar. Um, the um, go to oh golly, there's so much. There's so many. I mean. It's amazing to me that I do talk to people that don't know these things now, but it, you will start hearing more and more because it's all it's about to be all over the news. And I don't even watch the news. 
So I'm telling you, you're going to be like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Miss D did say that. Yeah, you, 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 uh, there's no such thing as a, well, there is an African American. It's a, it's a fictionalized human being. The real human uh, is just native to the earth, which is you and me, if you look like me, and if you're a woman and you look like me, then you are for sure. And if you are a man, you are for sure. So um, this world, when the great mother was on the planet running things, the world ruled, ran a lot smoother. Uh, but she had enemies. Uh, they are called the uh, Levitical Jews and also the Roman Catholic Empire. These two budding fellas got to fighting uh, and they were all brown as well. Those, 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 uh, those uh, with them, them, them uh, Roman fellas, they was brown. Them pharaohs, uh, those priests of Amun, Amon, Ptah, Thoth and them who ran up in the temples, them were uh, our brothers, our sons, our fathers. Uh huh. So that war happened long before, and was and was already in full effect before the world got really turned upside down because. When uh, the little patriarchal war men's got together and formed these fraternities and took over masonry, my son, my son, mother's son's way of shout out the um, the master teacher Taj Tariq Bay, who says uh, masonry was started by the ancient of ancients to civilize their sons on how to bring them up, which makes perfect sense because the mother has two X chromosomes they cannot be denied there's no need to fuss about that um and the sun has an x and a y chromosome well what is an x and what is a y they, they look pretty much the same except right there's, there's something missing if you can only do the y if one of these are missing so there, there goes, there, 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 there goes the, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so there goes that jealousy, you know, um, if you will go to my community feed and play that interview, just hit it. And Mama Zogbe, who wrote this great work, can very quickly break it down for you very quickly. Um, who you are on the planet, Black woman um not the color black you're actually a white woman if you know what that means you're a free white woman mm -hmm. if you have a black's law dictionary you would know what that means but anyway we've been recategorized as colored um this is very well known information throughout the world uh the only humans who really were believing that they were brought over and are even taught that history are um Negroes in America, former Negroes in America. And that's a, that's a fact. And you can talk to humans who live in other places. They'll tell you that history is taught to them completely different. Uh, they have a completely different recollection and uh, are taught a different set of records of the past about what went down in the West. Um, and it's just a big old great secret. So the first one is about slavery unto itself, which is insane. But the bigger, bigger, bigger one is about the role of women on the planet. And that one is what must be restored. That must be restored because, and I mean all women, all women, uh, as this matriarchal energy is rising, uh, I can tell you that uh, as more and more uh, these men are coming forward to uh, speak on behalf of the matriarch, to talk about how they are establishing matriarchies, how it is they should be teaching children, children should be given to them. Um, that's that's a that's a no. That's a that's a fuck no. That's a what the fuck? No, 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 no. Um, mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, the fuck no. No, there's so much imposter bullshit going on right now uh, in the realm, but it's all good. 
it's all good because this is the age of fucking Aquarius. I mean, information is light and it's flipping and flying through here so fast. You must be careful. Uh, but with that being said, the Sibyls, uh, which are the direct descendants of these great women of renown that the other women on the planet, Europeans call goddesses, which we should never call them that because they are our actual mothers, because that's just us. In this dispensation, as we wake up and realize who and what we are, and we put ourselves back together and we have our recollections, I uh, can see that as Rome does its demise thing and changes whatever it's changing into whatever it's going to be, because I can't speak on all that. There's lots of channels that talk about impending doom. I don't have that message for you. Um, what I can say is Black women who are not Black, but it's just easier to say that to you so I don't sound crazy to you, but Black women, particularly on uh, the America side in, in the West. I mean, I'm not, I'm in America now, right? I'm, I'm just in Mexico. Okay. I'm just same shit. Um, but in, in, in the U S it's important for us to grab a hold of our minds and our souls in a particular way right now and understand that the foundations of our spiritual lives are being shaken right now, particularly if you have certain beliefs and the people who told you those beliefs are going to start coming out telling you that those are fictions based on solar facts, cosmic facts, zodiacal astrological facts, uh, the structure of the body, how to live, the fact that you really are a spirit, but you have a soul. You incarnated into your body. You are an expression of the light, the source. We all are. We're all one thing. There's no separation between us at all. There just really is not. And then when we leave here, we should know how to get in our vehicle, our light body, transmute ourselves so that we can go on because this is just a shell. We are everlasting. And in, if, if, if man is to know God, then he must be born again, right? That's what the good book says. You must be born again. Well, that's called reincarnation. And then eventually you wake up. <laughs> eventually you wake up. And it's a beautiful process. It's a glorious, wonderful process. Um, it leads you to great compassion for everyone as they go on along, honey, because I'm so much more compa I'm so much more compassionate for myself. Um, and I'm super duper compassionate for all humans, no matter who they are, no matter who they are, even the descendants of the destroyers, because I feel like they are lost as well, that they really are afraid. They don't know, or some, some of them don't care, but I really, in my heart, cause I'm the heart chakra. So I'm, I'm going to be incredibly optimistic in this, but a lot of them are so afraid that us brown women, we are going to, our rage is going to destroy um, everything, you know, and that's, that's not, that's not the case. Um, there shall be though a reckoning, there must be, because everybody's had an opportunity to have their revolution. Everyone's had an opportunity to, uh, lay out their grievances and have themselves heard. Um, there are any manner of channels you can go on and listen to men um, of uh, brown skin, 
lamenting and expressing their thoughts, feelings, and ideas about the condition of their people. And by proxy, they'll throw us in, but really they're talking about their people. Um, there's not a lot of room though for black women to step in to our true power on the planet as the spiritual heads of life period. You and I are the closest connection to the divine. We are the only humans ever born that were not born under slavery. And we're the only humans ever born that no one can definitively say where the fuck we came from. Now, there's lots of good works written about how we created others. And um, yeah. So <laughs> the symbols are back. We are reincarnated um, as a mighty sisterhood. We have found one another. We have found ourselves throughout time. We are finding the truth of our existence. And it's imperative that we rise up and we tell the truth of those who have done us dirty. Because the cosmic corrections that are coming need to hear from us. And it took me a long time to feel comfortable um, even coming out with this video, I was like, dang, I really know I need to do this video, but is, am I going to sound crazy? I'm like, nope, because this is what I need to do for my part in the, as part of the cosmic family. So I'm going to tell you uh, and show you some things. I don't, oh, present. Oh, wait, wait, maybe, maybe. Is this it? Present? What does present mean? Oh, I can share the screen. Ha ha. Daka, daka, daka. I'm going to show you um, a couple of this document here is called uh, MK, Ultra, MK Ultra Mind Control. It's almost 600 pages. I'm not going to read it. We're just going to go through the table of contents. Um, these are in-depth studies done on what is sanctioned by this, um, by that empire on the planet and that they have been uh, systematically torturing humans, uh, particularly children, um, the things they've been accused of in their parishes and, and, and things like that, which are well publicized, does not even scratch the surface of how they have created armies of pedophiles, people to go out and molest children. Um, I was a victim of uh such a molestation by a i believe he was an agent i was about six or seven years old he posed as my mother's boyfriend um i've had this story um i know people who've had all kinds of things happen to them um just out of the blue when they were children somebody walk up to them and you know violate them in restrooms, putting penises in mouths, um, uncles and fathers, you know, purposely, you know, um, that's who the, 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 the alphabet boys that start with, a, uh, one of those, uh, one of those, and, and, an, and one of those, okay. Um, they like those people who were willing to, uh, they abuse their children. And it's harsh to hear these words, uh, but it's important to say them. I have to say them because of who I am and what my mission on this planet is. I came and incarnated because I have to say these things out loud. On behalf of other children, some of them taken out of their homes, some of them put in churches, put in church homes, um, very terribly abused, some starved, some raped, some beaten, um, some just absolutely traumatized 
on purpose, though. That's the thing. I'm not talking about they were just put with bad people. Why not? They were just put with bad people. Why are you blaming the cat? No, no, no. I'm talking about systematic to the point where it is documented. So we're going to first look over here. Look over there. Uh, let me get this documents right here. Let me get it because, oh, that's code to the matrix. Boom. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, if you... Um, almost there. Oh, uh, let me see what is this is. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm so. Oh, oh, oh! I know where it is. Nope. There it is. Okay, mind control. Woo, my nerves, baby, my nerves. I'm so excited, but I be nervous sometimes. I do. Okay, share screen. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. And share. All right. And then go into here. All right. Can y'all see this work, this book right here? All right. The Illuminati formula used to create an undetectable total mind controlled slave. Look at that book right there. All right. So, um, I'm going to first show you the table of contents just so you can get a really. Uh, First, go up and look at these fellas. This is not a work that I did. This is a work that is many, many, many years in the making. It's 573 pages. These are experts uh, from... Introduction, table of contents. Oh. 12 major sciences of monarch mind control. So... Oh, sorry. Okay, I don't know what's happening with. Oh, I don't know why I don't have my little. All right. Come, I just can't get my little. Oh, okay. All right. All righty. There we go. All right. Thank y'all for hanging in there. All right, this is table of contents. This is the selection and preparation of the victim. And look at everything that's listed here, y'all. Hey, genetics and disassociative abilities. Availability, physical and mental requirements, list of organizations carrying out programming, four foundational steps, spiritual requirements, moon child ceremonies, traumatization in vitro, Step two, look at that, trauma by premature birth. Step H, love bombing, love bonding, severing the core of the mind. Listen to that shit, severing the core of the mind. You see, that's why the, the retribution will be so swift. It's going to be so fucking swift because what has happened two children uh, and victims is there, these folks systematically already know about the body and the mind. So since you don't know, it means the cores of children, us, we have no, no nothing. And then our parents don't have a clue about anything. Uh, they know if they can get in and their goal is before you're seven years old to get in and break your mind. So, uh, and they always tell you what they're doing. So there's this movie that came out in November 14th, 1976. It was called Sybil. Has anybody ever heard of it? Anyone ever heard of the movie? I will get you and show you the movie. All right, so Sybil, starring Sally Field, was about a young woman who uh, 
had a um, mental break and split into several personalities, okay? Split into several personalities. Well, okay. Come to find out she had immense trauma, immense childhood trauma. And you have to read the details of the movie Yes, a classic. To hear that she says, as the little girl Peggy, one of her alter egos, um, starts to talk about how she's hurting. And clearly she's talking about being sexually molested. She's even talking about being probed in the anus and you know how, how it hurts and stuff. So um, if you Google uh, monarch programming, slave pro programming, some of your favorite uh, television stars, Disney stars, things like that, the implanting of different things in the body by these agents, um, there's a whole army of them and they went about destroying the minds of millions of children, millions of children, because if they could just molest you, um, um, and for the boys, there's a book called um, Original Sin by D.C.A. Hillman, uh, Ritual Child Rape uh, in the Roman Catholic Church. It's on my community feed. I've talked about it. I've, I posted his interview, I think, on my community feed um, that he did on another guy's uh, website. I mean, thing. But anyway, he's got a chapter called Creating Homosexuals and Whores, Bitch and talk about the ring of fire and how these people are doing things like terrible, terrible things to children um, to break the mind, to break the mind, to split the mind. And that is where the retribution is when somebody else doesn't tell you one of, first of all, about reincarnation period, right? When the whole rest of the damn world knows about it and real karma, and then they stand in your way and tell you you're not responsible for anything you do. <laughs> okay, that's that's no bueno there. That would be bad. Um, that um, is, is bad. Um, to do it to the descendants of the Sibyls on such a grand scale that has been done for centuries all over the planet, all over the planet. If you just wanna know, you can go anywhere on the planet and find out about what the degradation of the women has been, whether it's genital mutilation, sewing up of the clitoris, cutting of the clitoris, sewing up of the holes, um, the non-wanting of the girl child, uh, seeing her as uh, not worthy, um, the men abusing their power because they're bigger and stronger than her and her abusing her power because she's bigger and stronger than the children. See, it's a trickle down effect. And then because we're all bigger than animals, we feel like we can just kick their ass and eat them whenever we want to. <laughs> it's just a vicious cycle. It is. But while everyone is out here getting their giddens and getting their revolution and getting their reparations and um, calling for the reestablishment of their truths, we must... Uh, recognize that until the brown woman on the planet, the original woman, and therefore all women, not exclusively, but starting with her, starting with her, meaning it's already begun. The other races of women are already feeling their oats, their spiritual oats. Now they're calling on goddesses and reclaiming that divine feminine spiritual lineage, which is theirs to claim, but they are not the mothers, they are the children, and they are really uh, to, they are the worshipers of your mothers and my mothers, right? But they don't, they're not required to, nobody asked them to, you know, but well, maybe they did, I don't know. Maybe we did ask them to, but I'm talking about now. But I mean, I don't think we are, you know? Um, it's important that we come out of the mindset of race, race-based, that, that this thing is based on color. It is not. 
It is not. This is based on ancient bloodlines. This is based on the real game of motherfucking thrones. This is based on uh, waking up and realizing that, oh, I was in a dream world. And now this world is going gonna, is gonna to wake everyone up. It is. And it's good uh, for the brown woman, the black woman, to find our own sacerdotal power and know that it was us, always us, that was the first connected to the divine. That is why even to this day, even in the Americas, even though the church system is broken, it is still owned, it ain't owned by, but it's ran by black women in America, damn it. That's her, that, shout out to brother C. Freeman L. He said, that's her house, damn it. And it is, you can't go nowhere. And it don't matter on what color it is. The woman is, is is running them churches. Now, she's not getting the power up, maybe, right? But it is definitely her engine, her spiritual engine, her musings. It's her engine. She's behind whoever's there. She's doing everything. She is. And y'all know I'm not lying. Y'all know I'm not lying. So, but it is when we as women not have to wait on some man to say, I have all this wonderful, fantastical knowledge, some of which is really not that helpful to your day-to-day -day life, but go off, whatever. And that his knowledge is somehow greater than what your intuitive musings are when you are connected to your mothers and mothers, 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 mothers. These are times where we need to understand what it means that the Sibyls have returned, that matriarchal energy rising is real and it ain't always what y'all thinking it is but it is us loving ourselves loving each other knowing that the ways of that particular system are over and now you need to choose your side are you worshiping at the altar of destruction? Are you all at the altar of idols? Are you suckling, <laughs> waiting for something from somebody else? Or are you clear on who and what you are and that you are a divine representation on the planet and you are here to beam your light as fucking bright as you god dang want to? And you cannot be moved not uh uh no and that fucking movie that they did it's called three thousand years of longing it's uh let me show y'all this fucking imagery let me show you this imagery let me show you this imagery we say no thank you mother cocksucker no thank you there's no more three thousand years of longing there's so much nonsense that you, I can't even tell you. I feel like I can't even tell you. <laughs> no, I don't need to do that. I, I feel like, um, like I be tripping sometimes, but I know that I'm not because there's lots of people who've already done this. Shout out to Brother Panic. We've been decoding this shit for so long. All right. All right. All right. This is a movie that came out. I have forgotten. But I went to the movies to go see it just based on the imagery alone. I was like, I know you damn lying. What the hell? <laughs> so... I'm just going to tell you that in this movie, there is a scene where the, the, the uh, 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 old boy here plays a djinn, a djinn, and he's come back. She's conjuring. They talking. He's telling her his story, his kids, where he came from. And there's a whole scene where he is explaining and it's a scene with the queen of Sheba, beautiful sister standing there on her throne. And they got this fella 
sitting down in front of her like he is just giving it to her with this like a magician's flute or or whatever you you got he, he's clearly a kazarian wizard but he just he doesn't look that appealing and it's like oh and it's supposed to make us like she's just so into him and and oh he uses music to seduce her and it shows him having sex it's a horrible let me tell y'all it's through the music they're using our women they're using us to try and keep unlock us down a whole nother three thousand years with all of this shit has been just inundated it's just coming so fast but we have to resist 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 and i a lot of humans are resisting I know a lot of people are taking credit for a lot of things um, and shout out to them. Like I say, a lot of people have been doing a lot of work, but there's a lot of work behind the scenes too in the spirit realm that people just in their homes have been connecting and working to tear this shit down. Like that, that, that 3000 years uh, along, uh, uh, There'll be no more 3,000 years of longing for a fucking thing. And that's on everything. We're not longing for anything. I'm not longing for anything. I reclaim all that is stolen from me, mine, my mother's, and my mother's mother's, and my mother's mother's, and my mother's mother's. And since they have rescinded this doctrine, and you do not know that you are indigenous to the land, you will miss out. You will let other humans who... Uh, are claiming indigenous rights because you are going to go under a moniker that will not be recognized as legitimate to the land, whether it be African-American, which doesn't make any sense because what is that? That's a term that was created. It's like colored or Negro um, or black, which is dead in the eyes of the law. That's in Black's Law Dictionary. I didn't make that up. So to be a Sybil, uh, the matriarchal energy is returning. The Roman Empire is going down. It's already gone. And it will be us figuring out what, what do we really trust in um, as the financial system does another correction. And it's changing again. Um, I don't know what that looks like. I just am having a great time. I'm having the best time of my life, honestly, um, because I know that I'm on to something. <laughs> I've spent my whole life, I spent my whole life searching for myself. This is a book called Becoming Supernatural by Joe, Dr. Joe Dispenza. Everybody loves Dr. Joe Dispenza. Look at this. Shout out to uh, King Breezy. Shout out to Sister King Breezy. She brought this book to my attention talking about this right here, how energy gets stuck. You see those? And talking about those lower three chakras. And she, when she said it, it struck me so. I said, oh my goodness. I went out and I bought, I think, four copies of this book. But the lower three, the lowest your root chakra, which has to do with your survival, your flight or fight, fight, fight or flight, is the lowest is trauma from molestation. The second one above it is sexual confusion, pain, sexual anxiety, sexual addiction, sexual depravity. Keeps you in guilt, shame, pain, unworthiness, lack, and victimization. Now, you mean to tell me if somebody knows that that is the result if you do this to a child or a body. And so they do it on purpose so that you can be locked in those so that you cannot ascend spiritually to what you're supposed to in this realm. You can't even get your work done because you somebody then sidetracked you and sent you down, got down. Well, huh? Yeah, retribution is here. Mother is... Uh, I don't even want to use the word not pleased because I think that's so, so juvenile. Um, there is corrections coming. There are, there are cosmic corrections coming. And uh, all we need to do is love each other. Please know that Mami Wata, the Sybils, um, black women on the planet were the first humans who had 
the real sacerdotal power. That Vatican, that 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 dress that the Pope is wearing, those belong to black women all over the planet. The mother was worshiped and loved and revered. And it's important for us to grab ourselves back and place ourselves in the correct records of our past so we can get up off of our knees and stop asking other people to bring us anything. Because these are not those times. We're in different times. We were already in those times. And our mothers even elevated us from that. We are the walking embodiment of the divine on the planet. And being in these bodies now, I believe it's quite awesome because that means we get to look at all the other bodies we got to be in and all the ways we were contributors to the bull crap that we are looking to eradicate in ourselves now. That's all I see when I see myself. I go, oh, that's me. Well, then what did I do, right? Because I can't just be, I mean, I do call myself innocent because we're all innocent. What I mean by what did I do is I must take control of myself. I must truly be nonviolent if I don't want violence. And I mean be nonviolent to myself in my words, my deeds, my actions, and not take my power and my ability to be bigger, stronger, and smarter than, say, a chicken. Shout out to chickens. <laughs> and chase him down, pluck his ass. Cut him up, you know, and uh, find a way to eat his little body, right? Now, all I can say about that is there's no judgment because I've eaten lots of chickens, but I don't anymore. Why? Because I've come to the realization that the chicken's fucking alive. <laughs> the chicken has a consciousness and that to the chicken, I am God. To that chicken, I am God, right? Like he's the chicken's like, yo must be cool to be a human, right? Um, and then the chickens just minding their business and all of a sudden some God just snatches you and does what they want with you. That's kind of cruel and mean. So I don't eat chicken anymore <laughs> or any other meat. <laughs> and I be trying not to fight the damn cockroaches, you know, them water bugs here in Mexico. I try not to kill them either. That don't mean sometimes there ain't no casualties. <laughs> What's up, natural chick? <laughs> sometimes there is. But it's the calculated um, usurpation of others, the lies, the, the, the Smithsonian's, the, 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 the hiding of who was where first, the fact that this place, apparently these people have, you know, uh, done huge plagues like killing mad people on the planet, just trying to hold on to power. All these different times, slaughtering, slaughtering, slaughtering children. We can look at it. We can see that over the last five, 600 years, 700, but really thousands, at least the last two or three, just progressively getting worse and worse. And there's really no need for us to say, well, what's the problem? What's the problem? What the problem is, is um, we must share power. And if you can look around and you do not see a mother figure, a divine mother figure at the, at the table uh, with other mothers, which has always been anciently correct, making the decisions along with their male counterparts, then we are not, we are not raising ourselves up. And how we get there is how we treat ourselves every day. Um, the way we use our power, if you are in relationships and they are not cited correctly, and just because you are male, you feel like you can abuse or 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 talk crazy and 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 use your your hands to hit to, to correct your children then we're not on the correct path. Or you can shake or push or stand over or menace your woman on the wrong path. Or if you are a woman and you are doing this to your woman, wrong path. Whomever is doing it, to don't do that. No, 
We, we cannot do that and then say that we don't know what's wrong. Nope, there we are. It starts with every, every human being better humans. The second coming that the world is looking for, the spirit of Christ, this Christos, has returned. It's returning in the spirit of, a, of the friend. It's the spirit of the friend. It's the person who will smile at you and give you a kind word, not the person you can trauma dump, not the person who's going to pay your bills and you can just be an asshole too and take advantage of. No, not that person, but the person who will just be patient with you, give you a nod and move on. Does not want to steal or take anything from you and also doesn't want you to steal or take anything from them. We will return to just common human decency and plain order and kindness one way or another. And we will learn to work together one way or another. And the restoration of the aboriginal woman to the throne, uh, the sacerdotal seat, it will happen one way or another. I believe it's already happened on a spiritual level. I don't, I'm not sure if it needs to happen on a physical level necessarily, but I do know that as women of color, it is important that we see ourselves as, with preeminence. We are able to grab our minds and see that we have been here forever that everything that we see as beautiful and lovely and gorgeous about religion, uh, this, that it is us. It is nobody but us. The worship is to us. It's to us. It's to us. It's to us. This is us brown woman on the planet. It's you. It's you. The fight right now to marginalize your mind and get you caught up in civil rights and fighting for dead bodies and fighting for shit and, and folks that ain't got nothing to do with you. No, we got to just do it with us. Yeah, hey, Robin. I do. Uh, Tijuacan's in Mexico City. That's where I plan on going. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So um, we will be going through these works. We'll be doing more and more. That's Michael. That's the angel Michael of Rome killing a Sybil. So the Roman Empire is not your friend, never has been. It, well, it was your friend. And then they, they, they lied. They lied and uh, double-crossed you, uh, but they still worship you. They still worship you. Still wear your dresses. <laughs> still wearing your dresses. <laughs> so I'm going to get off of here. Shout out to the Sybils as we are returning and rising and reclaiming our ancient Mamiwata history and heritage. Okay? And even though she says Africa, she's saying the diaspora because we populated and peopled the planet, period. That is what we have. <laughs> that is who we are. We are the Sybil's Return, the MK Ultra mind control, whether it be a series of uh, pedophilic acts, uh, molestations of children, uh, trauma from, from beyond, before birth, through birth, after birth, whatever these people being they're creating, um, the systematic mind control through media, through falsehoods, through lies, uh, through all sorts of food manipulation, all that, the rob and steal humans land. And then they keep it through lifetimes because they know that they're going to be coming back through their bloodline, but then they brainwash the native people to block them from their familiar bloodline. Like it took me for, I felt like forever to understand that I could hear very clearly from my mother and my mother's mothers, like my grandmother, even before my mother passed. But my grandmother passed when she was 26 years old, when my mother was six. So, you know, it took me a while to connect that rainbow bridge, which before this common empire, um, that was common knowledge, pardon me, before the invaders, this, that was common knowledge. 
that, of course, you could speak to your ancestors and you, you had a matrilineal connection and so on and so forth. And the, the retribution coming cosmically is when you take that knowledge and you hide it and then you t try and you tell a group of people that they don't exist. And then you show imagery when it comes to the brown body of a woman, particularly being raped continuously by the European man, um, being um, hit, um, being uh, only used to procreate babies, uh, to clean and take care of and nurture others. This woman having no autonomy, no freedom of expression, no ability to be. Um, if she is too much, then she is you know, deemed all these other negative connotations. So we could go on and on, but I, I shall not because it's one else after an hour and we're going to be going on. But I just wanted to let you know that space looks right. Uh, you talking about my plates, my apartment? Thank you. I love my apartment. So cute. Oh, I love it so much. I'm going to miss it. Uh, I can't believe, y'all, it's less than three months and I'm leaving. Oh, my gosh. I'll be returning back to the States, but I have so many places to go. So many sacred sites. Got to see Mount Shasta. Got to see Moab, um, Utah. I went up to the, um, into Alaska. Got a lot of places to see. So, um, And then on to Thailand. Um, my daughter and I will be in Southeast Asia beginning in November for six to nine months. She surprised her mother. We were, were already planning it. And uh, yep, she booked it. And I said, well, all right then. So I'll be talking more about traveling and all of that. Uh, but we are going to be talking more um, as I'll start breaking down my little points of view on certain things, because especially for the Black community, as we are coming out of the idea of a control, bastardized version of truth, because the truth is still exists, but we're just learning how it's been bastardized and used against us. But as we come out, uh, there's, there's a bunch of folks waiting to be saviors, uh, and they already... They already are uh, doing bad things, taking advantage of women, spreading STDs, um, you know, doing all sorts of nonsense. And all because as women, we are used to being seen uh, or placing the male in a position the father god figure over us and that he is to lead us somehow or give us salvation and none of those things are possible none of those things are possible none of that's even possible how is that even possible it's just not possible right but until we get that in our souls really understand that we are teamwork makes the dream work um, we 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 complement each other. You know what I'm saying? As a family, as a not even family, as a house of slaves, but as a as a as a tapestry, it's together. Um, regardless, it's it's kindness, it's love, it's cooperation. It's hey, I have enough. Would you like some? It's not oh, I have and I want yours. Oh, and ta -ka -ta -ka -ta -ka. we have to understand it as one, this system falls, what do we want to replace it with? Because if all we want to do is attain that same level of what we think success is, which is based on a paradigm that clearly did not work, it does not work. We must return the mother matriarchal back to her rightful place and not in this big mama motif bullshit I keep hearing about either. Who the fuck is that? That's, 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 that's somebody from TV, baby. I don't want to see, nor do I want to be an overweight, asexual black woman. I've done that already. That's not, that's a mythological black woman in the, it, that's from fucking soul food. She got her fucking foot cut off and then died tragically way too damn soon, right? In her what, 50s, 60s? From eating horribly? Come on, man. Come on, man. The whole movie is about her sadness at missing her native land, because everything she had was from what? Her beautiful garden, which was relegated to a, a house in Chicago. 
How did she learn all that? Clearly that lady came from land and you know, a Chicago when they came from Mississippi, probably all that good lush as Delta land, the real original Nile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So no, <laughs> we, we must reject the idea, uh, imagery of who we are uh, and who we have been and look at who you are and who are you basing yourself on? Is it a real image that you created or is it an image implanted in you by television? Um, movies, uh, shit, fears, thoughts, and ideas from your, your family, um, your social circle. These are the times to, uh, question everything. And, um, now you're going to be more supported more than ever in terms of breaking away and finding your freedom and understanding that you are fine. You do not have to subject yourself to the lies, honey, and the nonsense of uh, any form of uh, control systems if they are diminishing you. And particularly if the humans around you, if they are bigger than you, and if they're of the opposite sex, even if they're of the same sex, but if they're bigger than you or smaller than you, but if they're using violence to control you, uh, animate you, tell you what to do, how to do it, uh, any of that, that's where we have to stop that. We, we, we stand in for ourselves, stand up for ourselves. That's a boundary. No, nope, I'm not going to allow that anymore. You know, oh, I allowed it yesterday. It's a new goddamn day. If, if I allowed it a minute ago, it's a new moment now. If I allowed it a breath ago, it's a new breath now. I'm a new human now. I'm, a, I'm awake now. The symbols have returned. This abuse of power is over. It's done. The lies, it's over. Mother's return. The sisters are already here. We're, we're already here. We're already linked up, honey. We're already linked up. And um, we'll just be up in here talking about whatever we want to talk about whenever we want to talk about it. I know I will. I know I will, because it took me a long while to feel even comfortable talking about some of the things I wanted to talk about, because I could not find what I was looking for. And what I was looking for was me, was me. I know I was like, y'all can't tell me some of this stuff just don't make any sense. And then, you know, you could never erase us off the temple walls. You could never erase us off the temple walls. We're everywhere all over the planet, everywhere all over the planet we are. So I love you all. Shout out to the Sybils uh, Return. Shout out to the um, uh, Doctrine of Discovery, uh, hopefully on its way to being eradicated. Um, Daughters of Ma, that's right. Daughters of the Moon, that's right. Daughters of Yimiya, Daughters of... Listen, um, the Doma Docs, uh, I did put the link in there. Uh, my... Uh, description. Uh, I'm going to start reading that online. Um, I have them very wonderfully. I love being in Mexico. It's changed so many things, but one of the things I had to do was print my, here we go, my book. Okay. And instead of a book, I printed it off like this, so it was perfect. So this was way from the Wayback Machine. By this sign, you shall conquer the way. Doma, mothers of Ma, daughters of Ma. So there are 17. There are 17, so... Those of the way do not enforce truth upon one another. We help each other find it. Isn't that beautiful in the Domo way? The coming of the Elohim. I'll give you a little synopsis, a little taste. Over 50,000 years ago, the planet Earth was visited by a race of beings from what is known as the collective. The collective is comprised of many different races who work together for their mutual benefit. Each of these races, with but one exception, are of the human species. These humans are the same genetically as those found on Earth. They are from three main colony zones. 
Sirius, Orion, and Pallades. All life found in this region is of the same genetic blueprint, though to be the result of the seeding of worlds by a single race with the same basic code of life. It tells the whole wonderful creation story. But anywho, great stuff. Shout out to Brother Panic. Got to find yourself in mythology and deify yourself. All right. I love y'all. I'm so sleepy. I'm about to go um, finish my coconut water and um, do a little reading. And then I'm going to lay down. I, I would love to get up with the sun first thing is manana. So I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, natural chick. I love you all so much. I'm so excited. I'll, you all, I'll be back in the States at the end of June. Um, and then my daughter and I are starting our road trip. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep you abreast of everything. So we're going to talk more about, um, We're definitely going to be reading the Doma Docs. We definitely need to bring that in and really what that means. What it means, uh, we're going to bring in some of the works of uh, Billy Carson and some of the uh, uh, other ancient works. Um, just to give you all, I'm just saying some names that are popular for you all in the, the current lexicon, but these people are current scholars. There's scholars from way back that's been talking about this. Shout out to Bobby Hammond. Shout out to uh, Dr. Gilbert Blair. Shout out to um, um, uh, Master Teacher C. Freeman L. Oh, I love him so much. <laughs> Come a little higher, more. <laughs> um, Taj, uh, Master Teacher Taj Tariq Bay. So um, there's so many resources available for us to get our minds together, but. We're going to have a good time. Um, I'm always showing you particular works, pieces. I haven't read this yet, but I heard it's pretty good because I'm still in my Doma docs. Mudras, still working on the colon. And of course, George Carey, Zodiac, 12 Zodiac, and the uh, Salts of Salvation. But these are his three works right here, all, all in one. Okay. All right, I love y'all. I'm gonna get my butt. Oh, yeah, I'm about to chill. I think I'm gonna go sit right out there, open my door, um, have a little time with the moon and the stars. That alignment the other night was so, so crisp, it made me cry. <laughs> you know, you just look up and we're like, whoa, it was so nice. So, I love y'all. Be well.